Hey, what's going on guys? Real Planning 101 Vermont here with a layout update. It's been a while. Last layout update was the end of January or February, I think it was. Whatever. It is now almost towards the end of May. You got quite a few things you guys need to catch up on, so I'll get started down here. I've continued my Green Mountain Railroad fleet. Uh, I've been working on the 1323. This is the platform car. Um, you can see, I got, I can't really see it that well, but I got the decals for the gate right here. There's actually a swinging door gate and the real one here. Um, observe, uh, platform car, like I said. Um, this is a Spectrum car. I got a Amherst. If you go back a couple videos ago, that was in my Amherst update video. Uh, I went to a train show recently, uh, a couple, uh, about three weeks, four weeks ago. I uh, picked up this car right here. I uh, really wanted to get one, so I picked one up. About $10 at a train show. Whatever, I know I can probably get a little bit better. Um, I did get a dummy unit, which is a Central Vermont and a NS Norfolk Southern, which isn't NS anymore. It's actually becoming a GMTX unit. Um, so yeah, there's those two. This one, I know you guys seen, but I've been doing a little upgrading to it. I added this right here. Can't really tell what it is. It's a LED light. Um, with the button right here. It's actually a lot cheap. Uh, I made my own uh, and a train device. It's actually a lot cheaper than buying the uh, truck mounted ones. And I know the truck mounted ones look a lot better, but for our two bucks, this thing's awesome. So, other than that stuff, I haven't really bought many things lately. Oh, I did buy a new, oh here, let me show you this first. You guys probably seen that last one, but I've added that one in since last time. I uh, did some ballast work over here in uh, Bells Falls. Um, upgraded the rail to uh, Superflex. We come over here, I did recently purchase from a good friend of mine. I know, that's a big mess. Uh, Ryan Tromley, this, um, oh, I know I'm going to say it wrong. I know it's an Atlas Master Locomotive Series, but I don't know if it was a GP38 or GP40, but it is a high hood unit on uh, New England Central. So this will come good use for, like, Bell's Falls areas. I know they do switch around a lot in Bell's Falls. Um... Another one of my coaches that I just finished, it's kind of dark over there, so you can't really see it. Uh, I'll show you guys in the next video or so. Got the snowplow project, turntables buried in all the boxes. Put that there. Uh, we're getting ready to work on another car for the Green Fleet. And, yeah, and I've also been... Working on Vermont Railway Ballast Toppers, that was a while ago, and they've been sitting there for about two months now. So, okay, and now uh, I will take you guys downstairs. Okay, so this has probably changed a lot since you guys seen it last. Um, all the track is ripped up. Uh, sorry it's a mess because I've been trying to get this done. Um... I got one full sheet of foam back there. I'm going to have a whole another sheet. But it's about $20 per sheet. Um, I'm also going to have to get two for down there too. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm doing the Rutland Yard over here. So so for those of you that know the Rutland Yard. Um, the Bells Falls. Uh, where Bells Falls main line comes in. Out of Bells Falls comes into Rutland. That section of the yard. The three tracks will be over there. Coming down that side. The main switch will probably be about right about there. Come down to the Rutland side, Tank Farm, the Mansfield Track, Rand Track Park, so go up that way. Comes down here, and eventually I'm going to get the couch out of here about next month or so. Get those moved, and then I'm going to have the whole thing come down to the wall. And Park Street will be about here. Um, but if I can't get this stuff moved, Park Street's going to be right here. The railroad crossing will be. Worry right about here, so I might have to push it back, make this side of the yard a little bit shorter, so I can have that and just enough space to do a run around. But if I have to, I can always add it on to right there. 
So that goes right there. This side will come up. The little curve that it does. Starts to curve. And then the Amtrak station will be about there. Right at the... Not quite there, but almost where the two foam boards touch together. Um... Then I'll have the switch right here, and then I got another section of foam that's going to go across right to there. Then Antrack will come up to West Street, and then come back down to the siding. And this summer I'll get the other side of my basement cleaned out, and I'll start my way up towards Burlington. But this has just been a plan that I haven't, I said I was going to do, and I haven't really gotten to it. Well, I'm finally getting around to it, so yeah, it should be a fun project. Okay, um, shout outs to Central New England RR, uh, Antrack Guy 365, Rail Finding 101, um, let's see who else here, uh, Vermont Rail Fan, um, and yeah, uh, Main Central 114, okay, uh, yeah guys, that's all I got for you, uh, stay tuned. I know I haven't been having many layout updates recently, soon because I've been behind on posting some of my rail finding videos, which I'm hoping you guys are enjoying, um, as I've been enjoying making them. But um, let me know what you guys want to see or what I showed rail fan next. But uh, yeah, guys, um, well, you'll see you next time.